2011 Ultimate Builder Custom Bike Show in Washington, D.C. We're talking with Alex Lucas. He's got a freestyle bike. And Alex, let's take a minute and talk about your background, please, sir. Yes, uh, I'm Alex Lucas. I grew up in the city of Washington, D.C. until the age of 12 when my family moved out to the country. Out in the country, I was very inspired by a variety of wildlife to include black snakes. And it was the black snake that inspired me to design this bike. This bike is a 2009 one-off, unique custom bike, especially built based on my designs, my, my preferences of what uh, inspired me, and that is the Black Snake. Uh, this particular bike has a very unique frame uh, that was manufactured exclusively by my design. It has a single-sided uh, one-off rear wheel, uh, the placement of the frame, and it gives you the simulation of a black snake waiting to prowl, waiting to move out. It's a custom bike. It's very unique. You'll never see uh, another one of this kind. Every single piece on this bike is uniquely custom built for this bike. Tell us about the fabrication on this. This particular frame has a unique fabrication in which the frame is uh, uniquely designed specifically for this bike. It has a single arm uh, weld on this as a part of the fabrication and it's designed is specifically for a 340 size rear wheel with the wheel having a frame on this side. So on the other side it's completely hollowed out and it gives you the simulation that there's nothing in place holding the wheel. On the front end we have uh, a rake out uh, unique to simulate the bike sitting low and the pitch moving forward. What about the engine on this? Let's talk about the engine. This particular engine is uh, called an Ultima 120 cubic inch engine. Uh, it's uh, built with a lot of torque and a lot of speed. Uh, it also is complemented with a Baker's six speed transmission. Uh, and in order to break the power of this engine, you have a there's trans a brake transmission on it? brake with an exclusive transmission gear especially made for this particular bike. Now was the gear especially made by Baker for this? Yes. Okay. The, the transmission was exclusively custom built by Baker Transmission to accommodate this particular design and specification. Okay, so you have a single arm, a single uh, side swing arm on the back, and then you're using a trans brake on that so you don't have any uh, sort of braking on the rear. Correct, and the reason why I wanted that design that way is I wanted to show as much of the machined manufactured wheel as possible. The same with the front wheel. It's a hubless brake system for the front wheel and that allows me to show a lot of detail on the rims, whether I'm riding the bike or whether it's sitting as it is for you to enjoy the view. What was your inspiration on paint? The paint, I wanted a specific uh, black with a very clear polyurethane finish. Uh, the challenge to that is being able uh, to, to show uh, the uniqueness of this bike. So by having it all black, uh, that was the challenge. What, what the painter did, East Coast Paints, what they did was provided a subtle fire flame in the bike, which I don't know if you could see, uh, which gives it a very nice uh, burgundy cherry type finish to it with a subtle detailed frame, uh, flame throughout the uh, paint of the bike. If you also notice, the handlebars were specifically designed and manufactured for this bike here in which the rake, the pitch of the handlebars are pulled back. 
which gives a very comfortable ride as I ride this. Not only is this bike built for a very nice show quality, but it also gives a, a very comfort ride and it's built to ride at the same time. Can you go ahead and show us the way you Frenched in those turn signals on that the handlebar, please? Absolutely. Uh, I've had the turn signals uh, built in in which they're Frenched in to the handlebars. Uh, there's a lot of safety features that are incorporated in this bike. Also, if you'll notice, the rear uh, tail lights are also Frenched in to the frame as well, in which it gives a very nice detailed finish look to it and it incorporates safety features in the event that I want to ride. What's also unique about the frame is that it has an air ride to it. And if I can show you, uh, the air ride lifts the suspension up five inches from the ground and allows me to ride it. I can also lower it down, which lowers the bike five inches completely to the ground. What companies were instrumental in getting this bike done? Uh, the one company, WEM Manufacture, was responsible for manufacturing the handlebars, manufacturing pretty much every single piece on this bike to include the gas tank, the seat, the frame, the exhaust pipes, the wheel rims, and also the foot pedals and the hand pedals. Another thing that you'll notice is that all the wiring is hidden. It's hydraulically controlled and all of the wire is hidden within the frame. If somebody would like some more information, uh, do you have a website or a, an email that they can contact you? Absolutely. Uh, if anybody's interested in possibly purchasing this bike, uh, they can contact me by email at apl.buildingsolutions at comcast.net. That's Alpha Papa Lima dot building solutions at comcast dot net and I can provide you with detailed information if you're interested in inquiring about it. Alex, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, and here's the granddaddy. Um, this is going to go to a guy that worked real hard. He was here real early on Friday morning trying to go back and forth to work, get things done, get his bike in here, get it cleaned. The story goes on and on, you know, but um, he really did one hell of a job and we really appreciate it. It's our number 20 entry built by WEM owned by Alex Lucas. Our Washington DC winner of the freestyle class. All right, Alex. <laughs> Great bike. It really kind of stood out. Had a pointed angular theme. Went through the swing arm, the down tube, the pegs. Just very clean. Hidden wires, hidden cables, hydraulic lines. Nice bike. Single-sided swing arm. Really did it.